hello guys so today's topic how to pass uh, one method as a parameter uh, so today's topic we're going to discuss that uh, so okay so before that I going to create on class public uh, class something like uh, class 1 here I going to create method public something like stream mm, ok no need I just take int this is uh, something like a method on I will keep this will uh, accept me the string mm, input ok so this will check if input equal to go free launcher then return one else return zero okay and one more method I going to create public dot boolean something called run method this will accept the func okay input string and output is integer so here it will accept the method okay I just process a method okay then integer i equal to method it will accept the integer go freelancer okay fine return I just make this int okay so far I just created one method this method will accept as a parameter this is a method it's going to accept uh, one method as a parameter okay finally I going to create one more method boolean something called a test okay this method going to call Just add one more here console dot right line okay okay in this method I just keep a sword I don't know okay console dot read key good Here also I just keep us so wide okay this method what it will go it will call a run method function method one I going to pass okay good so uh, one more thing I just go on the copy paste this this method just keep as a string and say keep method 2 
okay so if it is go freelance okay okay there is a two method okay so first time i planning to pause uh, method one if uh, my method one has a grow freelancer that will going to return me the one statement and then again i going to pass uh, method two if uh, method two then uh, it will going to return me the go for a uh, go freelancer result so that is what uh, okay here i don't i don't, don't want to keep in integer because i have, I have the string also so method will act as what are needed Okay, fine. So uh, let me go and uh, initialize this class. Uh, just take the object here. It's something like CLS. New class. Okay. And just to call this CLS dot test okay fine so now uh, I have a method text I'm calling the run method that will accept the method one so method one if it is the input method uh, one which will uh, act as as a uh, method one and uh, it will return me the one so that is what the explanation here method one so method whatever the method whatever the parameter so this method will be whatever the method name I am going to pass that will be accept here so let's keep the breakpoint here La run the application okay, it's came here so uh, I passed as a method one so I pause the method uh, parameter one then let's go right in the console so it seated the method one it accepted the parameter go freelancer so it returned me the result one okay fine so finally I got the result because I paused the method one so now mm, I going to test the method two it's very simple logic I just gone pass it to a method 2 and uh, it will throw me an error because the method 1 input is string and output parameter also a string so I have to change this to the to string then it will definitely works so again I will run this ok it's, uh, it's take the method 2 and it return me the to go freelancer so this is the way to pause a method dynamically into the parameter and make a use of a class in a good way so by using the func you can accept the method as a parameter and you can execute the method in a in a runtime so thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubt queries please comment us have a great day